Multiple projects with Arbor Housing are making progress, including Lampier Court on Corning's north side. But some plans also changed a bit, and our very own Isabel Garcia spoke with the president of Arbor Housing for an update on these projects. Isabel? Nick, Logan, beginning with Lanfair Court, the $12.5 million affordable living house housing complex is more than halfway through construction. Arbor Housing officials say the team is on schedule for a late July completion, but there are some changes moving on to phase two. President Jeff Eaton explains Arbor Housing is currently in the process of applying for funding for phase two of the Lanfair Court project, which has changed course in plans. Originally, the homes which make up the current Meadowbrook apartments were going to be torn down and completely rebuilt. Eaton says due to funding, they're now looking to make renovations. We'll end up with 82 units, um, but they'll all be modified pretty significantly, and there'll be a combination of one, two, three, and four bedroom units. Another two-phase project is Northside Blodgett, set to be the site of more than 20 new homes. Just this week, Corning City Council approved an amendment for a site plan due to a road change. There are more check marks Arbor Housing must acquire before construction can begin, but the first big step will be demolishing the former school building. At the end of phase one, we'll have uh, a lot, a almost five acre lot, that has been subdivided and is completely ready for development. Once that happens, the current site plan calls for the land to be subdivided. Eaton explains there is a wide variety of options Arbor Housing is looking into from there. Arbor Housing Development is looking at actually doing some development of some of those lots, building some homes. Um, we're actually talking with some different folks right now. Um, we'll probably sell some lots to individuals, some developers, some developers that express interest in buying some lots to do their own development. And then we'll probably just market some of the lots out for individuals who just want to buy a lot and do their own home. And as always, stay with WEMY News for any updates regarding these projects. For now, reporting in the studio, Isabel Garcia, WENY News.